Hello everybody, welcome to today's um, episode 11 this is. So we're currently in Klagenfurt um, in Austria and we now need to decide, well the random number generator will decide which company we're going to be going um, to pick up from. So there are two very close to where I am currently located. And then there's another t three um, on the other side of Klagenfurt, one of which we, Fiege, was the one we delivered to. However, there is actually a sixth one, which is really, really far in the middle of nowhere. I believe it's this one, um, which is also classed as Klagenfurt. So potentially we could actually be going there. That one is called Stora Enzo, probably the farming one. Um, uh, and I think it's like, I don't know, 120 kilometers or something from where I'm located at the moment. So that would be a bit, um, yeah, interesting. We've also done over 1% of the map now, which is good. So let's have a look at the companies. I, said that, I think there's six. Is it six I said? Or is it five? Six. Yeah, definitely six. One two, three, four, five, and the sixth one, yeah, that's the one that's uh, over 100 kilometers away. So we're going to do the random number generator to decide where we are heading to. Not destination, but company. Right, so um, let's just randomize this first of all this is irrelevant okay so it's one to six um, the only one really that's of any real relevance is number six because that's the one that's based miles out of the city like over a hundred kilometers away so we have a long journey just to load up just to start up just to start the journey let's see what we get number three okay so let's go back and have a look what the what number three is and what the potential options are available to us. Right then guys, let's have a look at the third company. So it is this one. What's the name of it? I can't actually see it very well. K at Hode? Is that? Okay, hang on, how many jobs are available? Three. Um, none of them are expiring anytime soon, so we're definitely going to be going to one of these three places. So it could be a job to Innsbruck. Now that's interesting. That takes us via Germany, but I have checked there's another route we could take that keeps us within Austria. Um, ter I should I pronounce this? Ternava in Slovakia, heading northeast. Um, or Zagreb. Okay, so that would continue our southeastern um, direction if we were to get Zagreb in Croatia. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm okay really with any of them, I guess. Anyway, let's um, just click on a random one, doesn't matter which one, just to get us to the destination. Oh yeah, it's raining, I forgot about that. So let's just have a quick look to see where this place is, where we're picking up from. Um, oh, it's the really close one. We're literally right opposite it, pretty much. 
so we're, yeah, we're going to pick up in just a second and yeah three places in completely different directions was the Innsbruck to the west Zagreb to the southeast um, and the other one was I can't, I can't remember what the other one was <laughs> um, was it somewhere in Slovakia I can't see it I can't remember the name of it doesn't matter okay um, well let's let's go for it then see what we get right let's get this show on the road I don't know how to use the windscreen wipers actually is it W? no um, <laughs> hang on a minute I'll probably right oh I almost crashed how'd you get the windscreen wipers on? Um, button is it? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I'll probably need to check this out on the options. I'll have a look shortly. Alright, let's get out of here. I think I can make it to this depot without using my windscreen wipers because it's so close. But I do need to <laughs> find out how to turn them on, obviously. Is it Q? I'm sorry, I press Q on my laptop. A? No. S? No. <laughs> I really don't know. I can't remember. I used to know. I think I put rain probability quite low. Which I don't even think I touched the weather probability, the rain probability. Is something I can turn on with my buttons on the thing. Yes, there we go. There we go. They're on. Perfect. Our lights aren't on. They should be. I should put them on a little bit more. Okay, we have arrived. Where's the thing? Where's the... Oh, there it is. That's weird. Right, here we go. So, just to reiterate, our options are Innsbruck, Turnover, or Zagreb. So in terms of money, Innsbruck would be the one to go for, but I'm really not that bothered about money on this game. It's not my priority. Innsbruck, 467 kilometers. Turnover, 428. Zagreb, only 303. Okay, that's fine. Let's do the random number generator to see where we're going to. Okay, the most exciting moment of me playing this game is finding out where we are going to. So it's between one to three. So one is Innsbruck, means staying in Austria. Two is Ternova in Slovakia. Three is Zagreb um, in Croatia. Let's see where we're heading. I'm quite open to this, I don't really mind. I think Innsbruck would be the most scenic, um, but the other two would ha would sort of have me heading away from sort of Western Europe um, into the old Eastern Bloc. Let's see. We are going to Innsbruck. Okay, I think we've got a nice scenic route coming up to Innsbruck. Interesting. Right, so Innsbruck it is. Let's go ahead and choose it from the list. 
Time to get, Time the, job to get done. the job done. Let's go and pick up our trailer. Where is it? Where are you? Still can't see it. There it is. Okay. Oh, we don't get the um, the livery. It's a plain one. That's a shame. Cat hoed. What on earth is that? Right. So now the interesting part here is checking out the route. So it currently has us um, driving directly back into Germany on the autobahn. And just before Munich, we would turn back into Austria. But we don't want to go that way because that's hmm, quite boring. Um, so that's 467 kilometers, six hours, let's say it's seven hours, 467, right? Now, if you go this way instead, um, it brings the distance down so that's 466 the other was 46 so it's basically the same distance wise that's seven hours um, it takes a bit longer it's an extra about an extra 45 in-game minutes um, but it, it definitely looks a much more interesting route along some kind of windy road and it keeps us within Austria as well don't particularly want to leave Austria then come back into it especially for somewhere like Germany um, so we're definitely going to go this way um, and it gives us obviously more more new road to do as well otherwise we'd be traveling back on that same road for a lot longer that we already just came on so yeah I'm actually looking forward to this route as we head into um, Innsbruck so yeah let's get going right so we are taking some roof lights um, over to um, Innsbruck so I'm really looking forward to this journey because um, it's going to be scenic especially with the route that we're going to be taking rather than the, the more I suppose direct route via Germany so I definitely think it's going to be the most interesting journey um, in the series so far um, so as always I like to talk about the, the destination that we're going to which is Innsbruck and about my real life experience there so I think I mentioned it in the previous episode um, I have been to Innsbruck I was actually there quite recently a few years ago and yeah it's a really really nice city I was only there on a day trip we were staying in um, Vorarlberg which is the westernly most westernly state in Austria we took a train um, to Inns Innsbruck I think it took about three hours three and a half hours maybe something like that um, and yeah just a lovely city very compact um, with really nice views of the mountains in the background now there are some like you can go up to the mountains from the city I think there is 
We didn't do that, we didn't really have time. Um, went to an Afghan restaurant for dinner, which is actually really nice. Wanted to try something a bit different. And yeah, just like a lot of Austrian cities, these books are really, really nice. I don't know why I turned those off, it's still raining. I do remember at the time as well, kind of taking interest in the geography of Austria. And that, you know, from Innsbruck and further west, um, that kind of part of Austria is kind of cut off pretty much, well, theoretically from, or you know, in practice, from the rest of Austria. Press the wrong buttons here. Um, because of the mountains. So, like, if you're driving or going by train from Innsbruck to, you know, the other parts of Austria, like Vienna, um, for example, Graz, Salzburg, you would naturally go through Germany rather than taking the mountain roads. Because the train we were on, the train we were on was going to um, Vienna, that was its terminus, and it went via Germany. I remember reading about it at the time. It, it didn't stop anywhere in Germany, it just kind of transits Germany. So I think it's the same with the roads. However, we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be taking presumably some kind of mountainous road. Staying within the borders of Austria. At the roundabout, take the second exit. So we're currently backtracking, these are the same roads we've already been on and that will continue um, up until the, um, the place where I had a big mishap in the previous episode at the toll booth. I think just beyond that is where we turn off rather than continuing along that autobahn um, to Munich obviously where we just come from well before we got to Klagenfurt oh, it's raining it's the evening it's getting dark I'm not having much luck at the moment with driving in the daytime in nice weather but that's where you really get to appreciate the you know the scenery and everything else so once we get to this toll booth, I'm not going to mess up this time. I'm going to know exactly what to do.
think it stopped raining. So I'm wondering what these ro this road is going to be like that we're going to be heading on onto this what relatively windy mountainous road. Is it going to be tough to navigate? Because there's another road that you might have seen on the map that's really, really windy. That sort of looks like a real challenge. We could have gone that way as well, but it would have taken a lot longer. It will save that road for another time. This is where we, we come to pretty much the border with Slovenia and then closely followed by Italy, which we're not going to be heading in those directions today. We are turning right. So Italy is to the left, it looks like. And Slovenia is to the left. So of course at this stage, as I mentioned earlier, we're still, this is the part of the road that we've already been down in the opposite direction um, on our way to Klagenfurt from Munich. But it's okay, we won't be on this road for too much longer. As I said, we're going to be turning off and going along some kind of mountainous route in the dark, which is going to make things interesting. Looks like we're coming to the infamous toll booths, where I, of course, had that accident last time. Yeah, this is it. Right. I need to stay in the right hand lane, get as far right as possible. It's all automated, you see. I just drive through and I get charged. Right, now we're going to be turning off very shortly, I believe. Otherwise, we're going to be 
heading to Germany, which we don't want. Turn off is coming up, I can see it on the map. Right, this is where things are going to get interesting, I suspect. You can already see <laughs> the mountains ahead. We're quite looking forward to this, it's just a shame it's dark. Not going to fully appreciate it for sure. And it's going to be dark for the whole rest of the way, which is a shame. What can you do? Unless this is kind of going to be like a a motorway where it's, oh no, you're going into one lane. Bischof, Schoff, Bischof, Bischof, Schoff. There's another truck coming, be careful. Be very careful, oh God. <laughs> um, my back of my truck's in his lane. Um, God, this was not ideal, was it, for him to, oh, hang on a minute. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Um, I need to head to the right. I think we're okay. God, how dodgy was that? That was unlucky though. Have I got my lights on properly? Yeah. It seems quite dark. Well, this would have been a nice trip if it had been light. I'm sure I would have, I would have appreciated it a lot more. You just can't really see very much. What's that? Don't know, I'll see. Houses?
Watch it, I'm too close to the left. Nothing's coming, it's all right. What's that red thing there? What's that? Buffet restaurant. Is that a secret road? I don't know, I can't see. Jeez, I can't see it. Am I on the edge of a mountain or something? I've got no idea. Just can't see. I think I am, you know. It's okay, take your time. There's no rush. We're not we're not late. Another kind of cafe there, which we can't appreciate because of the darkness. What's that say? A little village. Nice little village up, up in the mountains. I love it. All right, let's watch it going around here. Take it easy. So it's kind of well, how I describe this kind of road. It's yes, it's um, mountainous. Yes, there are some like steep turns, but it's very manageable. It's not like crazy. Um, what do you call it? Like, turning all the time on every corner. It's, it is a very nice scenic route. But you've got to be on guard here. It's not like driving on the uh, motorways where it's just easy and straight. Here yeah, it's a lot of turns and it's obviously single lane. Oh, something's coming. Watch it. Ooh. And it obviously makes it more difficult when you're doing this at night. There's less visibility in general. Again, be careful. I mean, if I was an actual truck driver and I was making the journey from, well, the same journey, I, I think I probably would go 
I'm pretty sure I would go the other route. Sort of more, well, I hope it's more direct, but more <laughs> easier route, shall we say, via, via Germany. If I was driving a car, on the other hand, and I was, you know, to see a bit of the country, see that some nature, nice villages, I'd definitely go, I'd definitely go this way. At least this place is lit up. Exit. What is that? Pizza house. Deichman. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. What's that place? Water. Very Austrian round here, isn't it? See, this is what you want when you play Euro Truck Simulator, right? You want you want drives like this. This is what it's all about. Okay, we're in the state of Tyrol. That's. Um in, which Innsbruck is the capital of. So we're in the right state. And I think you have uh, South Tyrol, which is part of Italy. So I found that quite interesting, that Innsbruck is close to Italy, but yet when you're in Innsbruck, it feels a million miles away from Italy. Like, it just doesn't, you don't associate Innsbruck with Italy at all. Like, they're just completely different cultures and everything just seems so different. So it kind of surprises me in a way how Austria and Italy share borders between each other. It's just, like I say, feel very different. And I believe that part of Italy uh, that, was, that I just mentioned, South Tyrol, I think it is actually part of it is German speaking. I, I can't imagine like going to Italy and the locals speaking German. Italian speaking German, like what the hell?
down to 50 now for some reason. What's this? Just because it's a village. Must be. Okay, watch the turn. I haven't had a turn for a while. Oh no, it's not a particularly big one. So yeah, I mean the, the drive itself is, is kind of what I expected like in terms of difficulty, I guess. Just from seeing on the map how many kind of turns there were. Um, been a nice, yeah, it's been a nice ride. Just a shame it's dark. motorway now apparently. Oh, okay, this is where we would we were gonna we would meet up with um, the road from Munich, the way we were told to go initially, or the or the way the route advisor suggested the quicker way. So he would, yeah, that road would join up with us about here very shortly. Oh, I've been done for speeding. Would you believe it? Oh dear. That's my first speeding ticket of the series. Last either. I'm generally okay with that. You know, I try to stay under the limit. Now, I've just seen as well, and I saw this actually previously, there are these kind of like truck rate weighing things that we may have to experience tell me to get in the right hand lane as I'm a truck please put in for a vehicle inspection at the nearest way station so I have done this before before YouTube you know when I used to play um, and I've actually been fined for it before because I didn't stop at it correctly so I've got to make sure I do this correctly am I in the right lane here tell me to be on that side no it must be here must be. Right. What a palaver. No, what does it want me to do? It wants me to crawl at 10 kilometers an hour. That's actually quite difficult to do. <laughs> oh no, it's alright. Right, go on then. What have I got to do? I stop here? Is that right? Can I go back a little bit? Is there something? I can't go back any further. There's a lorry behind me. Do I just drive? What the hell? Not very clear, is it? I've got a feeling, right? If I just drive off, I'm going to get banned. I reckon I should have stopped 
Hang on a minute, maybe I'm not there yet. No. Oh, okay. Well, that was that then. No issues. Anything coming? No. So I couldn't have avoided that. I still would have experienced that even if I'd gone the other way uh, via Germany. Right, anyway, we are very, very close to our destination here. No sign of the city yet, though. Innsbruck Ost. That means east. Right, we are now very, very close. So let's zoom in. Center is straight on. Traffic lights, I haven't seen them for a while. Ooh. They're the first traffic lights you've actually had on the whole route. So I don't remember any in Klagenfurt. There may have been. I don't remember any. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, there's restaurant water again. We saw one of those earlier. Right, there's a hotel there. That's probably where we're going to be spending the night. Turn left. Watch it. Some kind of farm around something. Turn right, and then turn right. Turn right. Oh, hang on, I missed it. What's here? I don't think it's a farm. Get out of the way, though, isn't it? Right. Here we go. Right, not got much space here, I should be okay, um, after a few attempts. Let's try and back into this space then. 
It's all right. It's all right. We're going to go to sleep soon. Relax. Well, not literally relax. Don't fall asleep at the wheel, mate. Looks like I got this pretty much down to a T. It was easy. Right, there we go, it's another point we can uh, add on later, the next, journey, next episode, we'll leave it for now. Um, we now need to find the nearest parking place, which I think we've just seen, the hotel. Yeah, it must be here. Why did it force me to go all the way around there then? If it's just there, that was much quicker. Oh, I see. It was, we didn't go past the hotel. It was just pointing to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair enough. All right, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Turn left, and then turn right. Turn right. So if we came from down to that direction. We're now heading in this direction. Turn right. <laughs> it's a bit dodgy here. It's on a bend. Oh. You can't really see very well. That's okay. Oh, just watch it when you turn. How long have I got actually to my rest stop? One hour twenty-six, that's fine. Done it easily. Here we are. At the hotel. I'll just, I just need a simple room, nothing too fancy. Okay, that's the end of the episode. Um, let's just wait for it, there we go. Thank you for watching. Oh my God, it looks so much nicer in the daytime, doesn't it? Oh my God. I've missed out on so much.